What's up everybody, I'm Brian from I Want Tesla and this is I Like to Take Things a Little Too Far. Today I'm hooking up the trailer lights to the aftermarket hitch in the Tesla Model Y. Yes, a lot of people say I do things a little too far. I go a little bit too much. I took apart this whole side panel of the interior of the Model Y, really just for my filming, my curiosity. Uh, I like to see how it's made. And I actually saw a couple cool things already that I didn't know. I, I like to see it for myself. And, and really, I needed to get to the wiring. If you recall, when I put the trailer hitch in, I ran the wires down here. So they're down here. This is the wiring harness for the Model 3 and Model Y for actually a lot of vehicles. This is the connection to the light that's right back there. And we're just going to tap into these wires. We're not going to tap anything. We're not going to cut any wires. They just slide right into this. And it's really nice how they have this set up. Uh, it's going to be really easy to do. We just have to figure out which wires are which. And then this needs power. And then to test everything out, I have a light that goes into the receiver and it'll plug right in and we'll be able to see the brake lights. And this will kind of be like a rain light that you would see in racing. Um, this is LED, so it's not gonna use much power. And it's nice and square. I could put a nice logo on there. It'll sit right on the bottom and it add just another light. So that is the plan for today. First step, I have everything in place, of course. I ran the wire from before when I had the bumper off and it comes in out of this vent area. I just popped it right through there and the controller's here. We're gonna mount this controller somewhere down here out of the way and then be able to run the power to it. But first, we need to find out which wires are which. We only need to find one of the wires, which is the turn signal on the passenger side. We'll find the left turn signal, the tail light, and the stop light. And yes, I like to take things apart, but I also took this thing apart, took out the front area because I had a lot of questions, or I had a lot of comments before on my last video where I said my likes and dislikes of the Model Y. And you can find that up top there. I'll put, have a link for that. But I glossed over the fact this needs to be aligned. And the reason it needs to be aligned is because I'm getting water in my trunk. I'm not really getting water inside the trunk. I'm getting water in the seal. I'm getting water like right in this seal here and then it sometimes it's falling in there and you can actually see water droplets that water has a little bit has gotten inside here. There is absolutely no water inside the frunk and this is the plastic bucket or the composite bucket. That's completely dry. I'm just getting water right here. So it just needs to be moved forward a quarter of an inch and then we will have a nice tighter seal on here and everything will be fine. So rest assured everyone, I'm not getting my trunk full of water. And rest assured of me too. I, I, I kind of wanted to know that too. Right now the car does not know there's a trailer engage because I'm not plugged into the wiring harness that is right there, the factory wiring harness. Once that car knows that something's there, it's gonna turn off autopilot. And if you're just towing a, a flat trailer with nothing on it or a very light trailer, you might wanna use autopilot. So this is the only way you're gonna be able to use that until full self-driving really comes out and or Tesla allows you to use autopilot, which I don't see them happening for quite a while. That is the main reason why you would want this, why this is beneficial. And you don't have to have a rain light here. I just have this there for purposes of this video. But so you save $500, roughly $500, you do it yourself, which you learn a skill with this. It's not very difficult. And you get to use autopilot. I don't see a downside to this. All right, we are back to GoPro on forehead. So let me explain some of the wiring here. This is the wiring to the 12 volt um, cigarette lighter or power outlet that's in the back. The yellow wire is the power and obviously the black would be the ground. I just went and just pulled back the sheathing. I went through a different video where I saw where they wired up a Model 3. I tested this, it looks like it's the same. The gray wire is going to be the brake light. The red wire is going to be the blinker and the yellow wire is going to be the running light. Those correspond with these. All right, the system is pretty cool. What you end up doing is unhooking this, opening this up, and then, so this is the stop. So this is the gray. And all you're gonna do is fold this in, clip this down. There's some tape that you wrap around this that's supplied. What this is doing with these magnets is reading when this gets power. That's all it needs to do is just read. So we're not tapping in. If we tapped in, then we'd have to cut these wires and then you, you possibly uh, mess up your warranty. This is, is gonna read the wires when there's power through this and then apply the, well, in this case, the tail light. The problem with this is this fits up into here and there's not much room. So 
I'm going to hook everything up down here and then make sure there's enough slack for this to go around this up into this. All right, now these are the pads, but you're gonna cover these and stick the wire to this. It's not difficult, but we're gonna take the stop and double check all your wiring. We're going to take this, we're going to make sure that's clipped down. And this one we're gonna move pretty much pretty far forward because we need room for three of these on this side. You're gonna take the adhesive side. You're gonna take the foam and the adhesive side, making sure that the arrow is facing towards the mechanism, towards the plug, because uh, that's the direction that the power is being sent. And then you're just going to push this over top and pull it tight. And that connection's done. That's all you need to do on it. So next, next is the blinker, the left turn signal. All right, so left turn signal, that is driver side. We do the same thing, clip it with the arrow facing forward. Take the adhesive pad, and we're gonna put it right over top of where the wire goes. We wanna smash that down in there and really make it conform to this. There we go, just like that. You get an all, a thicker pad of 3M tape, uh, foam tape. And we're gonna stick that, I think, somewhere up over here. I need enough space for this to go to that ground. The white is the ground, and it's, that is a ground there. So let's just peel one side. And by the way, this is a universal kit for a, um, a lot of, like any car really, not just a Tesla. There's plenty of examples online. If you don't like my installation, feel free to use someone else's. This is the wiring that's gonna go to the passenger side. And this is going to go to this ground here. We're gonna undo that and put it right here. We're gonna just remove the whole panel and then you can see everything in here. Here's the sub, the factory sub, factory amp for the sub the surround system. You have another ground here. And then this is the wiring for the tail light. We're gonna have to pull some of this back so we can get to the wiring. I forgot to turn the camera on. My, I forgot to hit the GoPro on, but the red wire here, I was able to hook it in just like I did the others. I reattached the plastic sheathing that they had on here and put the electrical tape on there. And then now the wire is dangling. I'll tuck this in once I put everything in place as far as the side pieces go. Okay, after chatting with a friend, I'm not going to connect to here. Just because the Model Y and the Model 3 use different fuses. They don't actually have fuses like what goes inside here. They're electronic fuses. And I don't really know exactly how much power is going to this. So I don't want to be towing something and have a cooler plugged in and draw too much power and then it shorts out or turns off the electronic fuse. It will pop back on uh, roughly in about 30 minutes or so, but then I'm, I'm stuck either not using the cooler or not using the trailer. So I'm, at, I'm gonna skip this idea and we're gonna plug that back in and we're gonna attach the fuse back here and run this black wire that all the way up to the battery. Uh, it sounds very difficult, but it's really not. You just have to hide it under the carpet, and then there is a grommet up front in the firewall. I hate calling it a firewall on a Tesla, but there's a grommet there that you can poke through and plug directly into the battery with the included hardware. And I'm not gonna film that because that's a lot of fiddling around. I'll show you what the final product looks like once I have everything ran, uh, because things may change as I run the wire and uh, you don't need to be bored with that. All right, let me show you what I did here. I ended up running the power wire all the way up to the battery up front here, the 12 volt battery, which is actually almost 14 volts. But I ran it all the way up here because that's what the directions actually said to do. So right in there, I have that black wire going to the positive terminal. Now make sure you disconnect the negative terminal before you hook anything up to the positive. 
And then right down here, I have it running down to a grommet right in there. Now that grommet runs to the inside of the vehicle, and let me show you where that goes. But right up in here, oh, you can't see, <laughs> but it ends up being right up in here. And then I just ran the wire down along the side. You can see it right up against the, the plastic here. All the way down, through underneath here, and you see the wire going all the way to the back. Wasn't very difficult. Actually running the wire for the, for the power trunk in the Model 3 is actually harder to do. And then in the back here, I just have it running to the inline fuse, and then I put the fuse in. And guess what happens? The third brake light works down there. So this is actually considered a rain light. Let me show you what it looks like now. I have, on the brake lights I have, because I have the brake pedal pressed, so I have the light up on top, and then the two, and then that's usually called a rain light. Usually that flashes when you hit the brakes. Um, but let me show you. move those panels out of the way. <laughs> so let me show you what the sequence is when I push the brake pedal and the turn signals. So obviously that's the brake pedal. Took the brake pedal off and then now none of the lights are on. Now I'm going to push the brake pedal. So that was the brake pedal again. This is the parking lights. So when you're riding down the road at nighttime, it's not going to be as bright. As soon as you hit the brake light, That's how you know your trailer light the brakes are going to go. And then turn signal. Turn signal works. And of course, that doesn't blink down there because it's not a turn signal. But once a trailer is hooked up, the turn signal will blink on the trailer. The hazards are turn signals, but they're actually brake lights as well. So it's going to blink. And that's to show you that the, the trailer should flash all the time. So that's why that is blinking. So what's the reason why you would want this wiring harness over the factory wiring harness? Or for that matter, the trailer hitch? The, well, first of all, the trailer hitch is only $300. And the, the lights, I can't remember what the lights were. I'll have them linked right here. But they were like, two. I think they were 200 bucks. So for $500, it's half price. It wasn't very difficult. I mean, it was difficult for me because I was brand new to this. Um, but the trailer hitch itself was very easy to install. It didn't take very long. You know, there's always going to be people complaining about things as far as, well, my time is worth more than that. And that's fine. That's why Tesla offers it for $1,000, plug and play, you're ready to go, and uh, you have a trailer hitch. But the major difference between this hitch and the factory hitch is this one you can use autopilot with. The factory one, you're not going to be able to use autopilot. Once the car knows that there's a trailer engaged, Right now the car does not know there's a trailer engaged because I'm not plugged into the wiring harness that is right there, the factory wiring harness. Once the car knows that something's there, it's gonna turn off autopilot. And if you're just towing a, a flat trailer with nothing on it or a very light trailer, you, may wanna, you might wanna use autopilot. So this is the only way you're gonna be able to use that. I know a lot of people are gonna say warranty. It's gonna avoid your warranty. This is not gonna avoid your warranty. We're not even, we didn't plug into anything. We didn't cut any wires and that's, one of the reasons I went all the way up to the front because I was nervous about that. Uh, it plugs, it goes directly to the battery. It hovers over the wires for the tail lights, so we're not doing anything. We're not splicing anything. And this hitch does not void warranty because it's identical to what the factory puts in there. So there's really no downside to this. If you're interested in getting your hitch or the wiring for your trailer, you would need both if you're going to tow a trailer. But if you're just going to put a bike rack back there, you just need the, the, the trailer hitch. You can order that through the link down below. Everything with my code does help out the channel and I thank you for that. If you follow my video on the installation, very easy to do. You can do the trailer hitch in probably three hours. You can do the lights in probably an hour with a video. Probably the trailer hitch in two hours. Depends on how good you are with the, with the tools. I think it's a no-brainer. So click the link down below, order yours. Order it before you get your Model Y. Don't, don't give Tesla $1,000 for this. Do it yourself. Should I get one of those propellers that go there or something funny that motorizes? I think I'm gonna take this cover and cut the two sides, put next to it. I think that would look pretty good. I'll have a link to this as, as well if you wanna get one of those. It just slides in there. As always, stay awesome, stay positive, and we'll catch you on the next one. Tell me what you think down below about this, not what you just think, but tell me what you think about the trailer hitch down below. See ya. If you stuck around this long, uh, I'm gonna show you something I found. I found a Tesla penis. 
Must be a little joke from Elon. It's pretty big for being white.